Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Britt Strohecker at New Beginnings Church in Middletown, Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, September the 3rd, 2017. We're in the middle of Labor Day holiday weekend here in the United States. So I hope everybody's staying safe out there, and I hope everybody's having a relaxing and enjoyable weekend with friends and family. Uh, and I hope to see everybody in church today. Uh, our services start at 1030 uh, we meet at the Riverside Chapel on 630 South Union Street in Middletown, Pennsylvania. So if you can join us, you're welcome to come. Uh, we'd like to see you. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the 23rd Psalm. And this is one that everybody knows. But let's take a look at it uh, this week uh, for a little bit here and try to decipher what this psalm is really saying and why it really sticks out from the rest of the psalms and why people have really cherished this one over the years. And I'm going to read it to you in my Gideon's Bible. Can you see that? Gideon's Bible. Um, it, this is the King James Version. Um, actually, no, I don't think it is. I forget which version this is. I will have to look it up. But that's not important right now, but here, here's what's important. This is the 23rd Psalm, and I'm going to read this to you. The Lord is my shepherd... I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a beautiful set of words. It's probably one of the most beautiful things written in the Bible that is uh, was originally a, a song uh, that they used in their worship. And a, and a song that is credited to David uh, for writing you know he's the one that wrote the music and lyrics to it so what a beautiful piece this is and and i also uh like to read mostly from the new living translation because it kind of is a translation that speaks in today's type of english that you and i understand so let me read this one to you from that uh particular version the lord is my shepherd i have everything i need he lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You welcome me as a guest, anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Again, this translation is a very beautiful translation of this beautiful work uh, that we have in the Bible. So let's talk about this work today. And I want to look at the beginning. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. And what a loaded statement that is, and what a perfect statement that is. Because what people don't realize, when you have the Lord by your side, you have everything you need. When you have a close personal relationship with the Lord, you don't need anything else. The Lord is a great provider, and the Lord will provide for your needs, not your wants, not your lusts, not your desires, your needs. Your needs will be met. Your needs for food, clothing, shelter, health, all these things will be met if you have a close personal relationship with the Lord and you trust in him. 
in Colossians, we see that uh, all familiar phrase where it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's true. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. And that verse from Colossians is just taking this particular verse, verse 1 of Psalm 23, and expanding upon it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. So it's kind of like you say a statement and then you can answer the question, why? So let's put it that way. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. People think that uh, they need to take things upon themselves and follow after all of their own desires and wants. And a lot of times they end up chasing after things that are just... It seems like they're always out of reach or they always have these that that type of attitude can produce sort of a jealousy of people who have stuff that people think I should have that too or I want that too or there's that uh, that old cliche keeping up with the Joneses you know we, we don't need to be wasting time chasing after this stuff you know that's just coveting things that your neighbor has. And you know what the Ten Commandments says. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, nor thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. So we shouldn't be coveting anything, and we shouldn't have a covetous nature about ourselves, because we will have everything that we need if we put our trust in the Lord and if we follow his way and his will for our life, that's why it's important to allow the Lord to be your shepherd. What's a shepherd? Well, a shepherd is one that watches over his flock and protects them from danger, but also leads them to places where they will have their needs met. That's what a shepherd does with his flock. And that's what the Lord will do for the body of Christ, for the people who love him and follow him and obey him. He will keep them away from harm and danger. Or when harm and danger comes, he will protect them and he will rescue them from harm and danger. He will also make sure that they are led in a direction where their needs will be met. In other words, he's going to lead you to the jobs that he feels is right for you. He's going to lead you to the people he feel, feels will be the best influence on you and also help support you in your faith life. He's going to lead you to safe places where you can stay out of trouble where you won't get in with the wrong crowd, or you won't get into a situation where you're tempted to do things in areas that he knows that you're weak. You see, the shepherd knows everything about his flock, and we know that. I mean, all we have to do is page back here to Psalm 139, and I'll do that real quickly here, because this is how well our shepherd knows us. And if you look at Psalm 139, it says, O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. So the, what's it saying here? The shepherd has examined our hearts and knows everything about us. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my every thought when far away. You chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You both proceed and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful to me, for me, too great for me to know. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the place of the dead, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning... If I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me, and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness I cannot hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are both alike to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. 
Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your worksmanship is marvelous, and how well I know it. You watch me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They are innumerable. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up in the morning, you are still with me. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. That's wonderful knowledge. The Lord knows everything about us, just like a shepherd knows everything about his flock. You know, a shepherd is there during the lambing season when the flock reproduces and, and, and gives birth to their young. So the shepherd is involved with his flock's life even before they're born because why he's taking care of the mothers of the flock to make sure that they receive the nourishment they need and the water that they need so that they can continue to have the strength and give the best chance for the children or the lambs that they are carrying uh, to be born uh, strong and healthy and that's what the Lord is doing for us. He knows everything about us, and he knows us even before we are born. That's why we have a great shepherd who will lead us in the right places and will care for us and loves us unconditionally. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. That's, that's a phrase you can build your life on because it's true. The Lord had you in mind. When he created the world, the Lord had you in mind when he went on, went to the cross on your behalf and died for your sins. The Lord had you in mind when he rose again on that third day. And the Lord had you in mind even before you were born and knew who you would be and knew exactly what it would take to take care of you. And you wouldn't be here if he didn't have the resources to do that. And you wouldn't be here if he didn't love you and didn't want to protect you and guide you along life's path. This scripture here is so critically important for all of us to understand. Excuse me, to understand. Because it's so critical that we understand that the Lord wants that close personal relationship with us and the Lord wants to be able to care for us and nurture us and help us grow strong and healthy in body in mind and in spirit we have to understand that that's the kind of Lord that we worship not one who is waiting for us to screw up and make mistakes and put them down on his tally book of sins that's not the kind of God that we, we worship, folks. We have a shepherd who wants to give us everything we need. And if we claim what Psalm 23 verse 1 says, we will have what we need to make it in this life. So today, as you go about your business, remember, a shepherd is leading you. And remember... The Lord is your shepherd. You will have everything you need. We'll talk more about the 23rd Psalm tomorrow. Until then, everyone have a blessed day and continue enjoying this wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you soon.